Hello there, how are you doing? Welcome back to Gamer Central. So, guys, in today's video, we are going to discuss how to go from noob to pro in Welcome to Bloxburg. Are you guys excited? So let's get started. So, keep up with me till the end. Comment right below this video, subscribe if you still haven't, and turn on post notifications for more videos. Number 4. Get a job. We don't want to sound like your parents, but this is really the truth. You will need to find a job, but we're not talking about real life here, though. We are talking about finding work in Bloxburg. If you want to move up in the ranks and get rich fast, working is a sure shot way of getting you there. It is by far the quickest way of making money on the game. You can actually make a pretty decent living off of it. When you have found a job, you need to work hard at it. And there is a pretty strong chance that you will be promoted. And that is not all. The promotion comes with its own perks and benefits, and you might even make thousands of bucks in just a matter of minutes. How cool would that be? Of course, before you get that promotion, you have to put some real effort into your tasks. But once you have that promotion, oh boy, it will totally be worth it. Number three, don't quit. The key to becoming a pro in Welcome to Bloxburg is to both work hard and work smart at the same time. True for real life too. When you have started working at a particular place, try to stick with it for the long run. Don't go around looking for new jobs when you have already got one. The reason behind this advice is pretty simple. Devoting your time and effort to working at one job at a time makes you progress faster. You are most likely to level up and make progress at a higher pace when you have only one job to take care of. Another point to keep in mind is to select a job in the first go that has other benefits besides just making you money. For example, working as a pizza delivery guy would give you the opportunity to go around town and also boost your mood at the same time. Now, that's what we call killing two birds with one stone. Number two, make it fashion, but make it cheap. Now, we know when building your house, you want to have everything that you can possibly think of, and there's nothing wrong with that. However, if you are spending your money like a boss, you will soon run out of it and will be left empty-handed. So, it's a good idea to not go crazy with it and keep things in budget. You'll need to consider keeping the value of your house low. You could try buying cheaper items instead of the more luxurious options. When you are decorating, buy things that are cheaper and take up more space so your house doesn't look empty. Also, while building your house, try to keep the size on the smaller side so that way you will have less space and so you'll need less decor. If you spend less money on the house, it will help you greatly to save some cash and it also makes your bills smaller. Number 1. Polish those rusty building skills Something that differentiates a pro gamer from a noob in Bloxburg is their awesome building skills. There are a few things you have to focus on to become a good builder in the game. When you build, try to be more experimental with it instead of playing safe. Try to incorporate more complex structures in your buildings and not take the easy way out, following the same old boring patterns. Building your house in the middle of your plot and not too close or far away from the road so that your building looks more professional. Also, don't take up the entire plot for building. It is just too big of a space to fill up and will only land you in trouble Later. Use pillars to add details to walls, that way the building looks more realistic and also sharp. It is all about practicing and experimenting. It's the only way you can get better at building, so keep practicing. That brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch these two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next one.